Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Yeah, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean, I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. <laughs> oh my, stand up. I'll show it to you. Awesome. I owe you one. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. All right. I updated his attire a little bit. Let's talk to Daniel. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Oh, fuck. I understand. The man sure knows how to hold a grudge. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match versus Cena. Avoid the STF at all costs. Easier said than done, Daniel. Daniel Bryan's side match. Go to SummerSlam. Ooh! Let's do a Daniel Bryan side match. I had an idea on how I could help you get ready for a submission match at John Cena the SummerSlam, but it would involve you wrestling for a second time tonight. What do you mean? I can arrange for you to take on Chad Gable in a submission match if you give you a chance to work on some submission moves before you face Cena. True, but on the other hand, it would give Cena more film on me to study. That's a good point. It's your call. Ooh, it'll gain us extra points for the tree. Fuck it, let's do it. Coming up shortly is what should be an incredible encounter. We have one of the best talents we'll on the roster to date. Chad Gable. Chad Gable. No mystery here. One of these superstars is going to have Summer to give Slam. up sooner or later. God damn. <coughs> Excuse me. This man always makes an impact. It's Buzz. Here comes the nightmare, Robert Styles. Updated attire. Let me know down in the comments the below. Do you like the updated attire of the, the entrance, entrance of, I know I'm not the, biggest of the nightmare? Supporter, but even I have to admit, that's the definition of paying your dues. Of course, he takes that mask off to wrestle. His opponent. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former Olympian, former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. All right. We got to be careful. We got to conserve our stamina. 
Let's try to slowly pick him up here. In a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. I'll be shocked if that's not it. In oh, WWE, Chad there's as much back. chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. <clears throat> Let that stamina build back up. Come on, Chad. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Feels like. Uh oh. Chad got Chad me up. Gable here. Chad Gable oh. connecting there with a good shot. Check out Chad Gable's offense. God damn it, I lost that Chad first. Chad Gable not looking so good. At this I point, lost that about first. How he uh, potentially rebounds. Thing this of match stamina. is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Kick at purpose. And setting him up. And he delivers a knee. God damn, I should have got that. In a submission match, the name of the game is to make your opponent tap out from a submission move. There have been so many submission specialists. How do you do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. God damn it. There he goes, crashing to the oh, floor. So much for my uh, not blowing my stamina. Look at this. Oh, I think this man needs business. Well, now we just got to fucking try to hurt him and get him right. Like to point out is that Before a I can get him in the submission move, the it's going to take a match. while. The key difference is that a submission match requires the use of a submission maneuver. In an I quit match, victory can be achieved by bringing your opponent to the point where... Is there DQ on? Let's check right quick. Yes. This is no count of the overall I've punishment noticed. they've received in the match. That's an important distinction, Michael, especially since a superstar can win an I quit match by using the submission maneuver. For superstars who aren't proficient in submission moves, they enter this type of match at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean they can't win, but they need to perfect applying the submission move quickly. Come on, Corey. Try and keep up. Come on, Chad. Look at this! Insane elbow! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Give him a signature on the floor. Oh, he reversed it. Of course he did. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. Oh, oh Buzz just barely got out of the way. Perfectly timed slam. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Things just went from bad to worse for Chad Gable.
Seems to be gone. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. <laughs> Just let my stamina fill up again. All the way. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn him. Looking to lock it in here. Whoa. Uh, not He's yes. at another level right now, Michael. Oh, Chad. No reverses it. Look at Chad Gable making his move. Chad Gable scores with a tremendous move. Get, and Chad Gable I don't know when to hit that. To take control of this match. They always this get me on, off. Look out. And the elbow oh, connects. come on. I don't know how these superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Can I restart it? Let's restart it. He beat me. Let's try again. God damn. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. And don't give this me any hope against Cena. One on one. Mano a mano. The thing about this match is I can't envision these competitors ever giving up. It's just not in their DNA. Jeez. The flying forearm finds his target. Oh, come on, Chad. Leaving himself open here. Now, guys, I can't think of a worse I gotta do to stuff right to now. him that will just. I need to keep this stamina as much as I can. We'll let Chad get back in the ring. He's trying to mangle his face here. Few, oh. Few more of those drops from the top rope to the floor. He's positioned Should get his body level. nice and I would not want to be him right now. Nice and red. Flattens him with a clothesline. Chad Gable not looking himself right now, but he's not appearing too worse for wear. Oh, at least not yet, anyway. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be All on right, the outside of the ring, he can very well change again. the outlook of the match with one shot. The WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016. Okay, get it, get down, get down, get event. down. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her women's championship against Natalya. The one thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose the match and her women's crown. Before you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte and Flair and Natalya, I need to point styles. out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know why the Nature Boy was banned He's down from again. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. Of course, that was until Dana Brooke distracted Daddy, giving Charlotte the opening to lock on the figure eight and force Natalya to submit. It wouldn't be a flare match without a little bit of controversy, would it? When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that in many oh, people's eyes swan set time. the standard. It was WrestleMania 13. Brett the Hitman Hart was in a heated rivalry with a brash star on the rise named Stone Cold Steve Austin. This match started like no other submission Select match. That with the two build up again. battling in the crowd and attempting to use ring steps as a weapon. How high can you go? Come on, Byron, Chad. You mentioned the submission match between Bret Hart and Steve Austin at WrestleMania oh. 13. The rivalry between the Hitman and Stone Cold was so intense that WWE had no choice but to appoint mixed martial arts champion Ken Shamrock as the special guest referee. I caught his and he caught mine, Mr. Gable. On Austin's injured knee. Steve Austin was busted open, and in the ringside area, it looked like a tornado went through. Once locked in the sharpshooter, Austin refused to give up. Stone Cold passed out due to the excruciating pain, which was considered a submission, 
giving the Hitman the victory. If it's not the greatest match of all time, it's certainly in the discussion. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. A sickening thud as his body is driven to the mat. Oh, I think this man means business. Swanton bomb! Clearly oh, it's glitchy again. Where'd you get the Swanton bomb from? So I did that, that ten minutes ago, Cole. The job. Things just went from bad Shows to me how much you're paying Jack attention Gable. to stuff. That takes him down to the mat. Looks like Gable is feeling the physicality of this contest. Don't count we still got all the yet. stamina. And claw. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. Ugh. Up until now, he's shown that he has no quit in it, which might not necessarily be a good thing. He might be risking serious injury if he keeps on going like this. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. Oh! He's displaying classic offense here. Let that stamina build up again. Think about using the finisher here we don't want to lose this. Thing. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. <laughs> Bringing it back into the ring. Oh. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent oh, hang I lost for no reason. No, I, I didn't. You, oh, when you do that. Just in time. Let's go back and watch Skip versus Barry Let's Cole. let it fill up again. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. And as you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Just an unforgiving slam. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. One more Set drop out to the floor here. for you. And whatever it is, it's going oh, to hurt, and it's going to hurt. Oh, he did bad. not like that. Look out! That's it. It's over. It's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do Give it. Give him one more of these on the floor. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their Let feet. Let that stamina fill up Michael. again. Get Chad on his feet. Send him in the ring. He wants no part of the outside. With a point of the elbow right in the nose. Jeez. This is how we have to beat Cena. Let's let that stamina fill up again. Pick him up. What does Buzz have in store? This Pop is a power bomb. No one was expecting. This one is let that over. stamina we fill up well all the way. The finisher here very shortly, guys, and when that happens, slap in a submission. It. It's a little too close to the ropes, so. though. Look at lock it in here. Look at lock it in here. Come on, Gable. Oh. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, and given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd did say I there's almost the blue? no nope. coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It Let's seems get like it that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week. But that's even possible. He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. sorts of things he can do to an opponent after a takedown like that. Just try to keep that blue. Oh, we've seen that, Chad. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Not done with you yet, Gable. Oh boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's gonna do oh, you're it. getting the third one. Oh, I think this man means business. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Let that fill up again. Pick him up. Oh, he, he reversed the pop-up power bomb. He's on the defensive here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. 
The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Nobody controls the pace of a match, drives him down with a power bomb. That should do it. Things just went from bad to worse for Chad Gable. Look at Chad Gable so here. So Tell you the face taking some up serious a little damage bit. here. We're most likely going to lose it this time. Looking to lock it in here. That finisher and submission he's got might keep him alive. Looking to lock it in here. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent oh, an come on, to get Chad. back in it. God oh, damn it. There wow, goes all like my stamina now. Good. I guess not. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Oh. Check out Chad Gable's uh -oh. offense. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, and he reverses it. He delivers a hard oh. close He's not looking good here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he this wants to This is not this good at all. At How did this here. turn so quick? Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. <laughs> wow. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Nice sidewinder suplex. He's still got a finisher and a goddamn submission. I'm screwed. I'm not restarting it again. We'll uh we'll just call it as a failed side objective again. Oh, of, so of course he'd move. Of course he'd move. Back in from the floor. Oh, come on, Gable. This has been a war. Check out Chad Gable's offense. Look at Chad Gable here. Back now inside the ring. Oh, come on. I couldn't even pick him up. That was ridiculous. Ah. Uh, Chad Gable is in position. I can do. Position. Got no finishers. Wow, there are uh, some reversals. Incredible. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. On, he dodges out of the way. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, there's that's no way Michael. I can make Let's him tap right that. now. Michael, that was amazing. How am I going to make him tap? I'll tell you what. This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at worker school, that's for sure. Damn it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, come on, Gable. Showing some quickness there. The damage has been done. Gable's looking to finish this. No Jonathan way, Zubak. I should have got that what reversal. He got Didn't there. even get a prompt for it. Wow. He's got to put me in the same move I just had him in. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly oh, come has on. nothing left to Not a here. chance in hell. Uh. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. One move after oh, the other. Oh, it's oh, oh, power bomb. And he's getting up right away. Wow. 
What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, I think this man means business. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Thing just. I have no stamina. Why am I even trying in. this? I gotta stop it right away. The bar wouldn't even move. He had him dead to rights. Ah, this is horrible. When this guy's on, and he reversed my finisher. Can't take much more of that. <laughs> what a bunch uh -oh. of bullshit. What is Chad Gable going to do here? Oh, I can't win this match, that's for sure. Gable's looking to finish this. Whoa. Oh, I put my knees up. Oh, driver. Spiked him. I'm having this hard of a time with uh, now that's Gable. How, you make a statement. how oh, am boy, I going to beat Cena? Rude. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. That might be all she wrote for Chad Gable. If at first you don't succeed. We're going to lock it in here. We're going to lock it in here. He broke out of it. Oh, oh, how I can't. in the world did he find the energy to do that? Where the hell does he find Whoa. him the fucking speed? He's a well, he's that fucked with the submission. Here. I don't get it. Like, look at his body it's and his fucking... He's now. just as yellow. Oh, I'm fucked. In. Don't he care. Got him to tap out. That's the kind of submission match I would pay to see, and they're the ones paying me. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part Here of. Here is your winner. Chad Gable. I'm frustrated. That made me mad. I don't care. <laughs> How the fuck am I going to beat Cena? I'm going to have to go even slower. Wow. Off to SummerSlam. Submission match with Cena. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action. This is not going to be easy. We have John Cena versus a formidable opponent. John Cena in a submission match. I'm going to have to start off slow. Save as much stamina as I can. Nail him with two or three finishers before I even attempt a submission. in the background. And accompanied by the game, Triple H, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Listen to this place. Since 2003, I don't know if any other superstar has defined WWE in the same way as John Cena. Yeah, a man has been defined by his passion. A man who's been right, defined there's by Cena. <coughs> here comes the man with his new look. The superstar known as Buzz his new entrance here. attire. And his opponent. Accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, 
weighing in at 275 pounds, the Nightmare, Robert Styles. Bars was a three-sport athlete in high school. He's going to need every bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts. One time only for the mask. Just for SummerSlam. Little something extra for pay-per-view. Here we go. We gotta be smart with this. Warm up the buses. This one's Get over. John Cena to yellow health while in the ring. Opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree. If Buzz was able to defeat Cena tonight, it could catapult him to a whole other level. We're gonna fucking sit back, None let that, that stamina fill up. Buzz was begging people backstage to teach we'll him slowly the pick him apart. That sounds more like a man who's gonna catapult Or at right least do our wall. best to try. Oh. Big match, John. He hits the clothesline. See if we can knock him down onto the floor again. Oh no. Big patch, John. Oh. That'll have you worrying about long term injuries for sure. Oh, Triple H out there. That's not good on our stamina. The first level's gone already. There he goes, crashing to the floor. God damn. Not good. Dangerous spot for him to be in. You gotta figure out a way to get back in it, guys. He oh, he fucking moved. Oh, man. Big time. Plants him with a pile driver. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in Gotta let that fucking there. second I fully expect him to bounce stamina back, build back this up. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as Got much as he could. Got him yellow while he was no, in the ring. Sure that's okay. The right this is all part Went of the for the calf crusher. Uh-oh. Into the STF. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. AJ and Triple H going at us. Oh, AJ. Gives it to Triple H. What's he doing? God damn it. Of course John Cena would fucking like do that He's right off the hop. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Well, I kicked him and he just walked through it. Oh. This is not good. Oh, under the stairs. And he's heading back in. Okay, I gotta get him to red health now. I have to be careful. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, come on, John. You're fucking reversal after reversal. I don't even have any left now. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Build that up. 
Come on, John. Uh, I was going to try to springboard, but we rolled it away the last time we tried that. I caught him with the knee instead of the forearm. What should John Cena try to do differently at this stage to remain viable? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make oh, some changes come on. here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked I'm right in trouble. Oh, and a chop lock. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna to find out. He's going to do oh, it. Oh, you're getting that pump handle driver right on the floor, Cena. From what we've seen and heard tonight, I don't even know how I'm going to make injuries. you tap out now. Sure I'm going to stay in this guy well, again. Cena's in a real well, bad spot. Fucking Jesus, man. He just recovers so fucking... Uh. Now Buzz has seen it in the calf pressure. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He oh, I wonder in the cutscene. I wasn't winning pressure. on my own. I never thought I'd see Damn. that happen. Unbelievable. For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle, now we've seen it all tonight. Kurt wants me on Raw. Despite Triple H's best efforts to improve your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I negotiated with Daniel Bryan, and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade, sending you the Raw media. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Uh, uh, uh. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. Well, that's it. The nightmare is on his way to Monday Night Raw. Another episode is down. If you guys like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. And once again, and as always, peace out. <laughs>